And that's yeah. higher? Valley Snow, oh, yeah, but right. red dot. Uh, little card and popped out. It's just. Little little bit bit it's I think right. it goes fast. Right there. Oh. That one, I don't think it's too fast. Yeah. Yeah. <coughs> there we go. I couldn't reach it at the angle to pull it out. <laughs> How's that feel? Okay. Wow. Do you want a blanket or anything? I wish you had a chair like that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Too comfortable. Yeah. Could I borrow that chair? <laughs> I'll bring it back next time. These used to be infusion chairs. That's what it looks they like. donated. <laughs> so they all have but like. They are kind of comfy. Yeah, they are. They're yeah. good. They're hard to get in and out of. That's the only issue. But once you're in, they're good. Well, yeah, that's because once you get in, you don't want to get out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I just, do you ever just get ready to, and nothing comes out, <laughs> there's nothing appears, just, oh. <laughs> this is a 1959, J.R. Cash did this. J.R. Cash, who could that be? Yeah. <laughs> Johnny Cash. Johnny Cash. Yeah. Andrew, can you see okay? Um, yeah. I can tilt your chair if you want. Or not tilt it, but. Hey, now talk that we're going to go high, cry, cry, cry. Show the wild time color up a clear blue sky. And tears cry to that thing. Going to flood your big river. Now I'm going to sit right here. Well, I met her accidentally in St. Paul, Minnesota. Broke me up every time I heard that for all that southern draw. Heard my dream went back down the street, go for it in Davenport. Follow the big river away. Hey, now I talk that we go to Willow Island, cry, cry, cry. Showed the clouds how to cover up a clear blue sky.
so ladies don't mess us guys uh, we just we really don't have a chance but I figured out with this being in love I figured out why it's so difficult I just learned about and it's like a lady hooks up with the guy knowing and believing he's going to change but he never does and a man hooks up with a lady knowing she's never going to change and she always does and that's why it's so difficult but that's and that's just just how it is. Just some wisdom. Passing along some wisdom <laughs> that yeah. I've learned in you really school of baseball back, mm -hmm. backs and tire irons. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so let's let's um, you like bluegrass, right? I do. All right. Well, Mr. Monroe in about 1953 or 54, maybe a little before that, he wrote a song. This might be a good different instrument thing, but we're going to do Blue Moon of Kentucky, oh, you know, and he wrote a song, Blue Moon of Kentucky. It was like this slow, slow blues yes. thing. And then Elvis Presley in about 1959 did it with a somewhat different Tempo. That's right. <laughs> and Bill Monroe thought he was sacrilege and should burn in the fires of hell because he ruined, he was, until he got his first check. A check. Oh. He got a check, first check at the end of a month of record. His check for writers was $45,000. He wow. called to help his friendly. He said, Boy, I, I, if I can help you anyway, you just let me know. <laughs> wow, 45000 $45, First quarter. And that was in 1950. Yeah. Something. So that's like, I mean, that's more money than Bill Monroe had gotten off any record in his whole lifetime. Wow. <laughs> For the whole thing. And I can help you anyway, boy. You just let me know other Makes songs. Makes me want to write, write, write some songs. <laughs> <laughs> so, so we'll do it like Mr. Monroe did it, and then, then we'll see what happens when the, <laughs> when the kid did it. Well, now, Blue Moon. Maybe this will be better. I'll, I'll squeak a little more. Well, now, Blue Moon of Kentucky, keep on shining. Shine on the one who's gone and left me blue. Oh, Blue Moon of Kentucky, keep on shining.
from all I true love said goodbye. I said to love and that he won't die. I said I want to stall that way. Religious. Yeah. Turned a religious experience into some honky tonk thing. <laughs> Bill Monroe was a piece of work. He was, he was really a pretty nasty guy. Was he? Very egotistical, and, and if you were a bluegrass band and wanted to get on the Opry, you, had to. you wouldn't let he wouldn't let you on the oh. Opry. And for a long time, nobody could be on it because he, he was didn't like. Goth, him. What is what was his deal with? He and his brother were together, and he was too hard to perform with, so his brother quit. And and his guys, you did it his way or not at all. My first, my second father-in-law worked for him back in the 50s. Wow. And he worked for him for three weeks as a fiddle player. And But my second father-in-law was an alcoholic and chased women, and Bill fired him on the spot. You quit playing with the gals here. We're here to do business. And if you're a drunk, you don't play music in my band. He fired him. Wow. And, but he, he, was, he had some stuff. They were on something in the car or something. And they were going through the groceries that they had in the trunk of the car, and they'd all gone bad except Ham. He said, that Ham's up. You can't hurt Ham. And <laughs> it was like two weeks old in the trunk of the car. You can't hurt Ham. And they had, <laughs> you know, uh, but Ham can hurt you. <laughs> 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 Well, we should sing a song. Any, anybody have any requests or anything? Any, any artist guys? <coughs> well, we always like uh, the King of the Road. That's, okay. That's, I think, one of our top top five songs that we like. Uh -huh. Ron, Ron's not here today. He's the one that sings along with that. Okay. He sings every word. Yeah, he sure does. Um, that's a good one. Anybody else have a song? I think you did um, the valley, something valley. Wait, you, yeah. River Valley? Red River Valley? River, 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 River Valley and the King of the Road. I think you did that for us one okay. time. Does anyone have any songs they want to hear? Or uh, an Kentucky artist? Kentucky Road. What's that? Kentucky Road. Kentucky Road. Kentucky Road. Kentucky Road. No, I don't. I think, I think Ricky Skaggs did that song, and I don't know it. Uh, okay. On 1969 or 70, I think Ricky Skaggs did it, and I, I just don't know it. Okay. Uh, but we can do. <laughs> Got to find the right gear. I find that my voice is changing. I think I'm into my, like, fourth puberty or something. <laughs> my voice keeps changing. Well, it's going to be safe. Trailers forward. Nah, that's weird. <laughs> mm, trailers for sale around.
o'clock when no one's around singing trailers for sale or rent. Use the land of which it says, no hope, no hope, no hope. I ain't got no cigarettes, but two hours of That's the word. <laughs> Real professionals fake it all the time. That's how you know they're pros. They can fake anything. Um, yes. What band are we in? Oh, we're take take your medicine. Just in case you didn't know that, we're take your medicine, and well, we call ourselves that because we think music's the best medicine for anything that ails you. That and a little music, a little meta musical, and you're good to go. <laughs> That's for sure. Um, well, thanks for reminding me. Okay, we, we, you want to sing a song? Um, <laughs> yes, I do. Actually, <laughs> I absolutely do. I want to sing Alaska Tough again. It's a song I wrote. Nice. About going to Alaska. And yeah. He's I'm having a, a minor fear of bears. He's a wuss. <laughs> He's a wuss, wuss. Just to listen to Girl Scout and all the people. He's a. He's a. <laughs> right. I wrote this on a hike well, well, when I was hiking with my wife in Alaska in the rain. Oh, and wow. we looked out and there were five wolves running after us. <laughs> and there were. Bear oh, tracks no. like this big around oh. us, and it was. Um, but I, but it did inspire me to write this song, Alaska Tough. Alaska and Tough. And you're still here to sing it, so that's oh, yeah. good. <laughs> you didn't get life fear. Bears. You know, fear is uh, <laughs> it's life it's life preserving. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if, it's, if that's what it is, <laughs> but you know, like I, my imagination can kind of get away from it. So. <laughs> I ain't a last dog. Not nearly your up to now. I'll probably run to the Wednesday Cross Cove. I ain't a last dog. Well, I flew in from California. From a place near San Francisco Bay. Put on my blue pants and Began to pay my Alaska dues. Went for a hike right out of Gustavus. The weather wasn't fine. I saw a bear scream, Julie, save us. <laughs> Turned out it was a porcupine. <laughs> I feed Alaska tough. Not nearly rough enough. I'll probably run when this you know they tell you when you have to see a bear, you gotta meet him with a confident air. Talk to him nice and in a soothing sound, but most important, stand your ground. That ain't a problem for an Alaskan guy, Alaskan woman, kid or man. But when I see one, I'll be terrified. 
Defend myself with an aerosol can? No. I hate Alaska dust. Not nearly rough enough. I'll probably run when Mr. Grizzly bluffs, cause I hate Alaska dust. Go ahead, Dave. Some fine folks, they're sure enough. Played lots of music till the break of day, which came soon after the sun went away. To live with moose and bear, you gotta be tough. Well, this fact I do not mind. A couple of strangers, they did not rebuff. In fact, they treated us most kind. Not nearly rough enough. I'll probably run when Mr. Grizzly Bluffs goes. I ain't Alaska Dust. I ain't Alaska fried chicken or Wonder Bread or onion rings. None of that stuff was on healthy food stuff. <laughs> Maybe it's the other stuff that makes you wrong. I don't know. I don't know. So. You can put your own definition on that one. <laughs> All right. You guys can sit back down if you want. All right. Not fancy. <laughs> Flexible. All right. Remember Red Foley? No. Remember the name? Yeah, Red Foley. He did the Peace in the Valley song. He was on TV. Oh. He did the Ozark Jubilee. Uh, he did the Midwestern Hayride. 
we did a thing called Renfro Valley Barn Dance down in Renfro Valley, Kentucky. And down there he had a partner that helped him out, a guy named Pee Wee King. <laughs> Not B.B. King, the jazz guy. This was a hillbilly dude named Pee Wee King. And Pee Wee wrote this song and they sang it there on their Renfro Valley Barn Dance. And it was okay, but nobody especially cared for it much. And there was a gal up in New York was in a re recording studio and she was going to do her Christmas song back in those days when the 45s came out. Everybody that was anybody did a recorded a Christmas song so you could make a lot of money. For I think Christmas. everybody still does that. Yeah. And so anyway, she did Rock and Bop and Santa Claus. And she needed something to be just anything to be on the other side so she'd make a lot of money on Rock and Bop and Santa Claus. So she recorded this song that this old hillbilly guy, Pee Wee King, had done. And I think you might remember it. Her name was Patty Page. Now I was waltzing with my darling to the Tennessee when an old friend I happened to see. I introduced him to my darling and while they
my bitter point. I know you guys are always right on. Bye. 